equity crowdfunding is more than just raising capital. It's actually communicating with a base of advocates, customers, shareholders, and the overall world that's interested in what your company is doing. Those customers are exactly the right people to eventually become shareholders. So I think this is one of the reasons there's going to be a huge momentum play in equity crowdfunding because I'm not the only person that's figured this out, Howard, that speaking direct to customers is having extraordinarily high response rates. Every small business has figured that out to the extent they can do it. And the next step would be after this is over, well, I want to raise, you know, a million, $70,000. Who am I going to go to? The people that know and trust me and love my product or service. That's how it's going to work. And a lot of that is because you use investors and we've been able to do that in the back half of March. We really put, you know, where they're willing and able, we put our, our investors to work. It was super um, encouraging um, to hear not only how our products are helping them, but how much they wanted to help out. So we would send them landing pages, emails, look at these concept boards for all these new products that we are coming out with. And they're, they're able to give you feedback and have that be naturally embedded you're constantly socializing the parts of your business that keep you honest and keep you close to the market because putting up layers is, is inefficient. And if you're really going to practice customer development, that's always getting on the phone with customers and don't put unnecessary layers in front of you and the customer for ego purposes and don't put layers in front of you and the, and the investor. It's a new form of communicating, a new definition of community, a, a capital community for you that is far more interesting and diverse than a traditional private equity firm or venture capitalist.